In this video, I'll be explaining exactly what I do to get all the badges except for the boulder badge by using item underflow. But first, we need to clear something up. The requirements. First, defeat all the trainers in the nugget bridge. Second, defeat no trainers in the cerulean gem. Third, have at least six items, at least seven items if you if your pokeballs are going to be um, used up when you're catching the Abra completely, because you need at least six items after you catch the Abra, and make sure the item in the sixth slot is a tossable item. In my case, I have Burn Heal. It can be any tossable item though. I suggest only having one of this item and that's because it, um, because when you duplicate the item in the sixth slot, you duplicate exactly 128, and if you have one, you know that you'll be at exactly 129 after the first dupe, which means you know exactly where you are. The fourth requirement, you have to have done the bill event. This is the only different requirement from the last bunch of videos. Now the first thing you want to do is catch a Nabra, which I've already done to speed this video up. Then you want to step in front of him and use the trainer fly glitch by teleporting away in front of him. Go around this path. All this will be very familiar. You defeat this junior trainer. Um, of course. And then you fight Misty. Now the reason we fight Misty um, is because her Starmie has a certain special value that allows us to encounter Missingno. So you defeat her Staryu, and you lose to her Starmie. The reason we do, the reason we have to lose is because we have to use the Starmie again for the second, um, the second time we want to encounter Missingno. Now, go up here, go through the text, or menu if that's what you get. It depends on other stuff, I'm not exactly sure what, but you defeat or run away from the Masingno, you now have 128 more of the item in the 6th slot, which is why I suggest starting with one of the item in the 6th slot, because then you only have to toss two. So you're going to want to toss items in the 6th slot until you only have 127 of them, which is, again, um, the reason I suggest starting with one. Now, I just made a mistake by going back down there, because what we want to actually do is go up here and do this again. Luckily, it wasn't a serious mistake, so it's not going to affect anything. Now we want to fight the swimmer. This is, you know, the usual setting up item underflow early. So, we fight Misty again, beat a star you, and you can either win or lose against a star me. I'm gonna win because for me, that, in my case, that's gonna be faster. And I just want to, you know, get through this and not have a lot of dead air. I mean, not more dead air than I need. So yeah, Masingno again. 255 of the item in the 6th slot. We also have this now because we beat Misty, but it doesn't matter. Move your 255 item stack to the 3rd slot. Toss or deposit all the items uh, below your 255 stack. Because I have the SS ticket here, I'm going to deposit them. Because obviously you can't toss key items. 
then deposit the two items above your 255 stack. Throw 253 of the item in the first slot, sw switch slot 1 and 2, switch slot 1 and 2. We are now underflowed. Now we want to go over here into this building. That's where we need to have done the bill event. Now the final step is we want to scroll down here. And, excuse me, we want to get this TM54 times 65. Select that and switch it with this item here, which will be either a Master Ball if you have no badges, a Ultra Ball if you only have the Cascade badge, a um, sorry, no, shit, it'll be, um, sorry, it'll be this J thing if you have no badges, it'll be a Master Ball if you only have the Boulder badge, a Ultra Ball if you only have the Cascade Badge, and a Great Ball if you have both the Boulder Badge and the Cascade Badge. The reason behind this is that we have the byte here that tells us which badges we have. It uses one bit of this byte for, eight, for each of the eight badges. And it starts from, it uses the rightmost one for the Boulder Badge, the one to the left of that for the Cascade Badge, and so on. So, depending on... So, depending on what badges you have, it's going to change what value that is, and that value is the value that's used for what item is in this slot here. Now, anyway, switch TM54 with that, And you have all the badges except the boulder badge. Now the last thing you're going to do is the same thing as always, which is buy some items to get your inventory back to normal. Oops, need to buy another one. Um... Yeah, I knew if you are if you're still scrolled down below the normal item slots, you have to scroll your way back up again. I uh, forgot to mention that before. So yeah, we're back to normal, except that we have all these badges except for the Boulder badge. And of course, you don't need the Boulder badge because you can skip the first guard on the way to. Um, on the way to the Pokemon League when you're going on Victory Road. Of course, if you want, you can advance to the point where you um, have Fly and then fly back to... Um, fly back to... the... Yeah, fly back to... Um, sorry, I... Completely blanking here. Anyway, you can fly back and defeat Brock if you haven't already. If you've already defeated him, then you will never have his badge unless you manage to edit the data so that you can fight him again. So that is a warning that you do not want to... Um, if, you, if you want to get the boulder badge, you have to not get it before you do this trick. So other than that, I'm, I'm done. Um, this is this trick, the trick for the day. Um, in the next video I make, I will be doing all three of the tricks that I've come up with here. Uh, the last two videos and this video. I'll be doing all the tricks from all three of those, all at once. 
the video won't be narrated though because um, there's not really any need to because I've already explained obviously how to do all of these so it's just going to be showing off that you can indeed do all three at once so see you next time